dedicated to trapping foxes. I'm setting up my tent right here. I've got all of my gear. So I'm just going to be setting up my tent. And then my trap is all the way over there. We're going to see if we can get a fox today. We need two more to beat the record. We have 19 so far, and the record is 20. So if we get 21, I'll be really, really happy. So this is my setup. Um, I have my tent and then inside I've got some thermo rests and a little chair and um, some parkas. It actually gets really, really cold um, in the evening. So where I'm at right now is called Adventure Lake. I'm in the area of Carrick Lake, Newfoundland, not Newfoundland. I'm in the area of Carrick Lake, Nunavut. And it's just gorgeous right now. This is the most beautiful day that we've had so far. There's the skidoo. Um, we just we get everywhere using a skidoo um, until the snow and the lake starts to melt. Everything in front of you right now is a lake. So it'll be interesting to see when everything starts to melt. Um, the snow geese have already started coming. So fox trapping is kind of coming to the end. Anyway, so I guess we'll see if we get a fox or not. Behind the tent right here, we can see that there's been a few animals. Uh, it looks like those are all tracks from cranes, I would assume. And then Somewhere over here. Oh yeah, right here. That's an old fox track, and that's an old fox track. All right. So inside of the tent, we've got parkas. Uh, I've got a radio up there. We've got one other person that's at another location looking at a fox trap, and then a whole bunch of extra socks. If any of you have ever been um, in the Arctic or somewhere really cold, you know why <laughs> extra socks are important. A thermos of hot chocolate, binoculars, good reading, um, a ton of chocolate bars in here, and something that's really, really important. It's not actually a first aid kit. Uh, bear bangers. Got bear bangers in there. So, crossing my fingers, there's no bear. So far, there hasn't been a bear, so I don't think I'll have any issues, but it's just in case. So I'm not sure if you can see the trap, but it's right there. Right there. We're pretty far away right now. Um, in my tent right here. So that's about how far I am from the trap. Nothing yet. Um, just sipping a hot, a cup of hot cocoa. Um, I feel like this is one of the best times field work. It's a lot of fun and even though you wait a lot for foxes you still get to enjoy this beautiful view and yummy food, good book. Life's pretty good. So I have a fox she's really close to the trap right now. She's looking at the back end of the trap. She's not going towards the front yet but she might have a feeling. There's one that has a really bare bottom. The white fur is kind of being shed off. And I have a feeling it's this guy and we've already caught him. Um, Triple T is his name. But we'll see, I don't know. Maybe it's a new fox. Oh, it's going away from the... Tent. 
thought that was a fox. All right, so I just got a radio call. We have another fox in the other location. So I'm gonna go close my trap and we're gonna go get ourselves a fox. Hey everyone, so I'm here with uh, a little girl that we just um, finished ear tagging and taking some blood from. So I'm gonna wrap her up. She's a little cutie. She's about one year old and she's just starting to wake up. Well, the day is coming to a close. Um, it is 10.30 right now. We trap foxes until 11 o'clock um, and the sun is still up. You can see it looks very bright <laughs> so far. Sorry about the sun. Um, and it is 10.30, so you can see by my clock right there. The, the, the hand is kind of on it, but it is 10.30. Um, and that is why this entire land, the north, is called Land of the Midnight Sun because it does not set. It is gonna be bright like this. Um, throughout the entire night, basically. <laughs> so uh, if nothing happens in the next 30 minutes, I'll start packing up and then we'll go. We got number 20, fox number 20, which means that we're one away from breaking the record, which is really cool. Uh, we have a couple more days trapping, so we have a chance of actually breaking the record. There's caribou right outside my tent. Look at these guys. They're all outside my tent. <laughs> he smells me. And he sees me. This is how close they are. 